Monstrous creatures with glowing red eyes and sharp teeth emerge from the depths. Closing in fast, the water ripples with tension as they move together, ready to attack. Lu Fan stands firm, unfazed by the approaching danger. As the creatures come closer, he remains calm, his sharp gaze locked on them. With a swift motion, Lu Fan takes down one of the creatures effortlessly. He orders his companions to get to safety while he handles the battle. Lu Fan continues to fight, striking down the monsters with precision. His powerful attacks push back the relentless swarm surrounding him. The woman swims swiftly alongside her companion, both urgently making their way through the water. Despite the tense situation, she remains focused, her eyes scanning ahead for any threat. They burst out of the water, gasping for breath as they pull themselves to safety. The urgency is palpable as both characters scramble to escape whatever danger lurks beneath the surface. With worried expressions, the two characters exchange glances as something massive stirs beneath the water. As they question the mysterious powers controlling the water, the presence of the looming creatures only heightens the tension. Lu Fan emerges from the water, standing tall and composed, as the tension continues to build around him. Lu Fan holds a glowing object in his hand while addressing his two companions. Both companions seem tense, their eyes focused on the object as the conversation unfolds. One of the companions expresses surprise at how quickly they obtained the glowing object, still in disbelief. Meanwhile, the other companion comments on the potential power the object might hold, though it won't grant them supernatural abilities. Lu Fan stares at the glowing object in his hand, while a mysterious figure with glowing eyes watches from the shadows. In a sudden burst of speed, the dark figure launches itself toward Lu Fan. His reaction is swift, but the intense encounter between them has only just begun. The mysterious cat dashes forward, catching everyone's attention with its glowing eyes and unexpected presence. The group is surprised, questioning how the cat appeared in such a dangerous situation. The girl theorizes that the base must have kept cats to control rodents, and this one might have wandered around unnoticed. The cat still holding the crystal, stares calmly, its glowing eyes filled with mystery. It seems more than just a regular feline, having snatched something important from Lu Fan. With a cunning smile, Lu Fan offers the cat a trade, holding out a packet of food. His eyes gleam as he attempts to bargain with the unusual creature. The cat swiftly jumps onto Lu Fan's shoulder, snatching the food without hesitation. In a blur of motion, it escapes with its prize leaving Lu Fan momentarily stunned. As the cat disappears into the tunnel, Lu Fan watches with a smirk. The situation is both frustrating and amusing, as the cat has outsmarted him yet again. Lu Fan clenches his fist, frustrated yet intrigued by how the cat has bested him twice. His sinister grin suggests he's already planning his next move. Impressed by the creature's cleverness, a hand reaches out to pull a lever, crackling with energy as it activates. The group pauses in the tunnel as one of them notes that the electrical systems are still functioning. They exchange a look of cautious optimism as they prepare to move forward. As their feet hit the ground with purpose, one of the group members leads the way, pointing out that they are nearing the military storage facility. The woman comments on how fortunate the survivors were to evacuate just before the floodwaters arrived. Her tone is serious, reflecting the weight of the situation they narrowly avoided. Walking together, the team discusses how much of the resources were likely left behind in the rush. With their destination in sight, they know they must act quickly to secure whatever remains. The group arrives at the military warehouse, taking in the sight of stockpiled weaponry and supplies. One of them notes that the arsenal is enough to equip a sizable force of 500 men. They discuss how, if they can find the right equipment, they could arm even a thousand soldiers with ease. However, Urgency strikes when one of them warns another to be more careful with the weapons. As they contemplate their next move, a question arises on how to transport the supplies back. Meanwhile, the mysterious cat observes them from above, adding an element of curiosity to the scene. The woman explains that with the city's military forces nearby, going back for reinforcements is no longer an option. The woman looks confused, gripping her weapon as she turns to Lu Fan, questioning the sudden shift in the situation. A tank rolls in as one of their comrades shouts excitedly, announcing that he found it. However, his excitement quickly fades as danger approaches. The man panics, screaming for help as a monstrous creature with glowing pink orbs and sharp teeth chases him. The terrifying beast looms behind him, growing closer with every moment. Both Lu Fan and the woman are in shock their eyes wide as they realize the gravity of the situation. A powerful blast of energy surges toward the monstrous creature, the impact bright and intense. The tank fires its weapon, 
unleashing a massive explosion of energy aimed at the beast. The force of the blast shakes the ground as the fight escalates. Lu Fan watches as the tank continues its assault, warning that if the beast triggers an explosion near the ammunition depot, they'll all be in danger. With a determined gaze, he activates his spatial ability. He calmly commands the space to open, preparing for his next move against the threat. Lu Fan and his companion stand in the middle of a glowing spatial grid, surrounded by a blue aura as they manipulate the environment. The woman is in shock as she realizes that everything around them is being pulled into the spatial realm. Her eyes widen as the incredible power of Lu Fan ability becomes clear. The mysterious cat watches with glowing eyes, standing amidst the blue light as the space around it shifts. Lu Fan companion is amazed by the spectacle, expressing awe at Lu Fan incredible ability. As the tank fades into the spatial dimension, they realize the full extent of his power. Lu Fan remains focused, while the man in the tank asks if he can also absorb the creature into the spatial dimension. However, Lu Fan responds that living creatures can't be stored in the space. The woman pushes forward, stating it's not the time for such discussions. She decides to distract the monster while ordering the others to evacuate, determined to buy them time. Lu Fan surprises the woman by lifting her up, declaring that with the resources in his space, he must ensure her safe return. The man in the tank looks on, shocked by the sudden change in plans. The monstrous creature opens its mouth, gathering a bright blast of energy. Lu Fan leaps into the air with the woman in his arms, narrowly avoiding a massive explosion below. The tank is hit by the explosion, shattering on impact as debris flies in all directions. The woman still in Lu Fan arms, insists she can handle the mutant beast and urges him to check on their ally. Despite the chaos, she remains determined to take control of the situation. Lu Fan watches the woman as she runs toward the danger, concern flashing in his eyes. Her determination to face the threat alone leaves him momentarily conflicted. Lu Fan stands fearlessly before the towering mutant beast, its glowing purple eyes and monstrous fangs making it a terrifying sight. With calm resolve, Lu Fan declares that regardless of the beast's power, he will claim its core. This is the end of the video. If you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.